Hello everybody, Salty the Hyena here. Welcome to another Bot Build Showcase. Today we're gonna check out one of my absolute favorite Ravager builds and probably one of the best Ravager builds out there. I'm talking, of course, about the Fast Ravager. The Fast Ravager is a beast that relies on its immense sprint speed to get into range or to escape from uh, the enemy. To achieve this, I'm rocking four sprint accelerators and a single accelerator. The single accelerator is uh, sort of a compromise to buff its walking speed up to 62 km an hour. This gives it quite a bit of agility even when you're not sprinting. But look at that sprint speed. 162 km an hour. That's insane. And only possible if you're rocking all light armors. As usual, I'm rocking EM circuits on my bots because folder is the best weapon in the game and it, I feel it's important to shore up the defense against light bots. Uh, in this particular weapon setup, I'm rocking a single magazine and three autos on my hammer and I rock dual magazines and dual reinforced ammunition on my manglers. This is, of course, to have um, a reason, like a cycle time that's as close to each other as possible to have a matched set of weapons, but also to have a big burst damage so that you can close in on a target and deliver as much damage as possible without exposing yourself too much. So we're gonna jump into Q and see how this bot performs. I'm by myself in this game. I only grind AI when I'm making these videos because I rock only that single bot and yeah, I don't wanna be... I wanna, yeah. I don't wanna tank and I don't wanna mess up the game for anyone. First, let's check out the agility while walking. As you can see, it's pretty decent. I'm walking faster than a turp can walk, so yeah. But check out that sprint, people. Come on. It's insane. It is, of course, possible to build it even faster if you go all accelerators. And it might be better. It might be just a personal preference. Who knows? I actually built this bot before, uh, like, way back in 2.0. So... I'm glad that it came, uh, or, or I'm glad that it became so useful. So check this out. I'm assisting my AIs by closing in on this AI and getting real close personal and just unloading a ton of damage. In an old human environment, this bot is even better because then you don't have to worry about uh, <laughs> psychic uh, AIs and perfect aim and all that. Oh, ate that javelin like a noob. I'm back at my favorite grind spot and I'm just gonna hug this cover and keep pounding these AIs. Be careful so that I'm not being spotted by more than one AI at a time. Because, trust me, or you probably know this already, three or four hammer MAOs who target you at the same time will destroy you in no time at all. My chest is already gone. This is a rather squishy bot, so you need to play it carefully. If you mess up, you die. So. Most of these uh, all light armor bots are rather skill intensive. I just love this bot. Look at how fast you can get in position or change position. This is most definitely one of my favorite Ravager builds. I'm glad 
that javelin train wasn't headed for me. Uh, as you can see, uh, it's still pretty easy to exploit the AI. Just make sure that they're focusing on someone else. This particular weapon setup with its big burst damage is... Uh, I, I really like it. it. It's not... It's a little bit weaker against humans because... Well, you have to expose yourself for a longer time. And uh, humans are much better players than AI, so... Yeah. I can, uh, this is a bot or a build that I can recommend easily, hands down. If you're in doubt, if you want to build a really fun bot, build this one. I'm not sure that it's the strongest Ravager build, because both Capacitor Ravager and the Accelerator Ravager, and to be honest, also the Heavy Ravager, they're all really good builds. This is really fun, and uh, it's difficult, I've said that a couple of times. It is a hard bot to pilot, but it's a really rewarding and fun bot to pilot as well. I've said it before in other videos, if you guys have questions or uh, um, suggestions for all the builds that I can make videos about, just let me know in the comment section. Firing manglers at uh, targets out of mangler range, that's uh... <coughs> no, yeah, let's let's just pretend that it didn't happen, eh? I've survived for a really long time in this bot. Even uh, <laughs> I, I could probably do better if I was uh, doing this solely for grinding the AI and stuff. But I, I'm uh, I'm doing this to make this video for you guys. But even though I've survived for almost six minutes against the AI, and I I, I think I've done pretty decent. Uh, I hope uh, you guys have uh, like an understanding for how this bot performs or like got some inspiration at least for how you want to build your Ravager. And uh, I think you can of course build it with other weapon loadouts as well. Uh, but I, I think this is one of the better, low, like, a, a big burst damage for a fast Ravager. I think that is the correct choice, simply because you, you will have to deal out a lot of damage in a rather short time before retreating again. And you will often find yourself dueling other Ravagers as well. And since uh, most people will probably run weapon setups that have a short unload time to expose themselves as uh, little as possible. And then in a dueling situation, you kind of want to have a weapon setup that beats a short unload time. A short unload time will generally have a lower DPSC than the, this build that yeah has a longer unload time and thus you will probably if you play a card right you will be able to beat other weapon setups so this is a ravager build that finds itself dueling other ravagers a lot so you need to consider that as well just is gone my core is red i don't think i can uh, I can't, I can't survive this for much longer. I think I've done very well. Uh, I think I've shown you what I wanted to show. I hope, you, hope you've enjoyed this video. Oh, 
Is that right, right? Um, I'm making one of these or uploading one of these every workday. Thank you for watching and see you next time.